My name is Nick Lucas. I'm Celeste Lucas. I was diagnosed in 2009. I had ALL and CML leukemia. ALL and CML. ALL is a, a child form um, leukemia. CML is a rare form of leukemia that is in children. It's very aggressive. It was probably one of the worst things that I ever went through in my whole life. Nick was diagnosed when he was 11 years old, which was the hardest thing I ever had to go through. I thought dropping him off at middle school was the hardest thing I ever had to go through because he was going to school in another town, and that was already hard enough for me. Um, and then having, he only went to school for three days, and then having to hear the news shortly after that was the worst. I didn't have uh, an immune system. I got really a lot of things didn't taste the same, some things tasted metallic, and I was quarantined for a long time, two years. His was uh, at its last point, he didn't even want to do the transplant on his list, he said he had no survival. And, uh, they introduced a chemo pill called Glee Back on Nicholas, um, and that's what got him into remission in order for him to have his bone marrow transplant. Um, then from there, he was quarantined for almost two years. Um, and that was probably the, one, one of the really hardest parts of it, such a large family. And um, he is social, and that had to be really hard for him, I know, because he couldn't talk to anybody, go near anybody, and be closed off from everybody. Just me and my husband came around, so that was pretty, pretty intense. Um, I wanted to do the relay because my family had done the relays for five years before this and it's where we all get together and uh, fight back and try to help out everyone and I wanted to bring that, bring that home. When he came home and told me that's what he was doing, my mouth dropped open. Um, Nicholas decided to start high school and he didn't want anybody to know and he was diagnosed with cancer. Um, he just wanted to be known as Nick Lucas, not a child that is in remission with leukemia or anything. So we decided to honor his wishes. So when he decided to do this, I'm like, you are going to have to tell everybody that you um, have cancer or you had cancer. So yes, he did. He very proud that he stood up and, um, and he told everybody or in some shape or form, he decided to tell everybody. Um, very proud of him. He's been walking ever since 2010. Um, he's taken laps as a survivor, so when he decided to do this, it's his, it's his pay it forward. So my name is Dave Andros. I'm a senior manager for R Relay for Life, and um, I manage uh, 18 events throughout the uh, Fairfield County area. Um, actually, I started uh, in June of 2012. I was looking for a, a job and I was looking to do something different, something that I could have the opportunity to give back to the community, that I knew that the, the time that I was spending, the effort I was putting forth was going to go to to somebody, to, to help somebody. Um, and interesting enough, right after I started working, my father was diagnosed with uh, kidney cancer. So the timing was just so ironic about uh, being able to start a job with such a great organization that's focused on cancer, cancer research, and ending cancer, and then having my, my father be affected, it just hit home that much more, that I was able to now have my job directly helping a family member. So it was huge. The American Cancer Society is involved in a lot of different um, areas when it comes to uh, cancer, cancer research, um, cancer uh, programs and services. Uh, we work with a lot of different health systems. We work throughout the communities with Relay for Life, making strides against breast cancer. Um, we have gala events. There's a wide range of, of what the American Cancer Society does, who they're involved with, but it all centers around all cancers. So all the funds that we collect through fundraising um, go to uh, cancer research, and it's all cancer research. 
Um, it goes to our programs and services. We have um, some of the services we have are Roads of Recovery, Reach to Recovery, Look Good, Feel Better. We also have um, Hope Lodges, which is a place that uh, cancer patients can go and stay for free while they're having their treatment and they can go with one of their caregivers. And we um, have also funded, uh, 47 of our researchers have won the Nobel Prize um, for their research. So the money goes to a wide range of areas all focused on um, the fight against cancer. Well, first off, it's actually, even though it's called Relay for Life, it's not technically a race, it's a walk. Um, they walk around the track, um, uh, teams are formed, and the idea behind it is to have at least one person from your team walking the track at all times. But you can run, you can jog, uh, but it is, it is primarily a walk. My favorite part, there are so many, so many pieces to it. I think for me, it's the people that I meet from the survivors that I meet, to the caregivers, to the volunteers. You hear so many great stories, you meet so many great people. Um, that really is the biggest thing for me. I love going and going to, like your event, uh, the, the Woodland Regional being so new, meeting you here today, the people that I'm gonna meet at the event. That's my, my favorite part of it. When I started my senior year, I pictured learning to drive, going to prom, being in the school play, but most of all, spending my last year in school with my friends and classmates. Little did I know that picture would change when I found out I had cancer. Even to this day, that word is hard to say. After six rounds of chemotherapy, I am happy to say I'm in driver's ed, I was in the school play, and I will be attending the prom. I'm better, I am cancer free. My name is Olivia. I am here today to help support the American Cancer Society. I'm here today to support my friends and family and to enjoy the wonderful first relay at Woodland. Of course, I'm here to um, support Olivia. Her mom and her father and I are good friends and her brother Alex is uh, my daughter's age. But also, um, like the teachers have said during the um, ceremonies. Cancer has touched everybody's lives. My mom passed away 27 um, years ago of cancer. So you're always here to support people. That's mm -hmm. why. Here to support the Fanzuti family. I'm here to support my wife, Mary. She had breast cancer and uh, I'm here to support her and she's here to support herself and all the other <laughs> survivors that she's known. Well, I'm here with the Beacon Falls Leo's Club. Um, Olivia Kalentak, Kalentak, Kalentak is one of our members and uh, this is just to celebrate her conquering cancer and uh, he helped out Leo's event that one time. And I know Olivia. Here's <laughs> credit. <laughs> I'm here because this is a really good cause. I'm walking to support my Aunt Helen. I'm here to support my friends who've struggled with cancer and to raise money for cancer awareness. I'm here for uh, my nephew Nicholas Lucas and everyone else that's um, suffering from cancer. I'm also here with Team Nick and to support everybody that's currently fighting the fight against cancer. Um, how do you think your senior project is turning out? I think it's turning out awesome. I didn't expect it to turn out like this.
We missed you in January as the new year began without you. We missed you in February. Many around us were celebrating Valentine's Day with hearts, but ours was broken without you. We missed you in March. We saw shamrocks and leprechauns and remembered you were our pot of gold. We missed you in April as spring arrived and we realized how you affected our lives. We missed you in May as we celebrated Mother's Day and how we so wanted to celebrate special days with you. We missed you in June as spring became summer. Fathers were celebrated and relay se season arrived. We missed you in July through red, white, and blue, through cookouts, fireworks, and parades. All we wanted was to hug you. We missed you in August during summer fun, realizing you were our shining sun. We missed you in September as children began a new school year and remembered what it was like when you were here. Then come October with leaves falling and jack o' lanterns all around. We missed you then too. Turkeys in November made us cry again. We are so thankful to have known and loved you for as long as we had together. But your chair at our table will be empty forevermore. In December, holiday decorations were displayed as the year wound down. I looked for you everywhere, but you weren't to be found. And so one year ends and another begins anew. In our hearts you will remain. We loved you once, we love you still. We always have and we always will.